first sense. Hello, so good morning, good afternoon, and good night. So good midnight. So uh, here we are again. We'll be discussing what is case build up. So the challenge or the thing that you need to do in investigating uh, or improving the evidences, using the evidences to to counter or to prove that there is a special crime, then you must do case build up. Or it is the common term for investigators that they do or in gagawin nila para may kulong yung isang tao. So, sa mga special crime kasi, iba yan. For example, corporate crime. Walang corporate crime sa RPC natin. So, parang, iproprove mo lang nila na may corporate crime. Tapos, yung appropriate, for example, estafa, sa RPC natin yung ikakaso. So, parang ganun lang. Parang, pero sa ibang special crime tulad ng money laundering is meron na. Parang, kakasuhan ng anti-money anti laundering case. Tapos, yun na yung parang ikakaso sa korte. Pero sa ibang special crime, ibang kaso ang ikakaso nila. Parang, it must be synchronous to the criminal laws of our country. May mga special crime na hindi pa defined well. Not, hindi pa siya well defined sa ating mga criminal law. Sinasabi ko lang to para hindi kayo makonfuse sa mga ikakaso mo sa kanya or etc. etc. So what is case build up? It refers to the process of gathering interrelated evidence against someone who violated the law such that there will be a basis for persecution. So, sabi dito, simply means that it's the gathering of evidences for possible prosecution of, of that criminal. So, process. So, it's a step-by-step -step procedure wherein you must be, uh, you must get parang may step 1, may step 2 in getting and what will you get? Evidences and what evidence shall you get? Strong evidences syempre para you will build up a case or uh, a great uh, oh, case para uh, to prosecute someone. So, one example dito sa Pilipinas is yung mga yung finafile ng soldier natin na cases. So, for example, yung ngayon uh, nagka-case build up yung unang ginagawa muna ni Soljen natin, si Kalida uh, against si sa Supreme Court natin na si Leonen yung issue dito is si Supreme Court Leonen is parang inuupuan niya yung kaso ni yung election case ni na Robredo and BBM uh, Bongbong Marcos so ganun yung issue yun yung gusto ni uh, Kalida na dahil dun uh, nag-case build up si Kalida tapos gusto niyang ipa-impeach si uh, Supreme Court Justice Leonen dahil sa parang negligence niya or incompetence niya dahil inuupuan niya yung mga kaso niya and siya yung may pinakamaraming pending cases kasi yung pending cases yung parang rinaraffle or kinukuha ng mga Supreme Court Justices para sila yung mag-handle sa mga kaso na to Eh, siya is yung, siya yung pinakamaraming hindi pa tapos or hindi pa niya sinisimulan. Tapos, yun, yung parang, yung point ko dito is, before, parang, before making a move in, parang kasuhan yung isang tao, magka-case build up ka muna. So, ginawa ko siyang example kasi, ang galing ni Soljen Karida. Siya nga yung, I think, siya ba yung nagpa-impeach or impeach kay Supreme Court si Sereno ang ganun so it is simply the gathering of evidences to make a case for prosecution for para kasuhan yung sang tao so there is what we call a strong legal case and a weak legal case what is a strong legal case a strong legal case simply means that the evidence you have gathered is valid the evidence you gathered is strong so pasok siya sa mata ng judge at mata ng law tapos mabigat mabigat siya yung weak legal case naman is mga kasong haka-haka lang mga evidence na na contaminate for example crime scene present mo yung contaminated case kaya 
re-inject nang dyan. So, ganun. Or kulang ng evidence. That is, weak legal case. And the point here is that you must uh, you must make your legal cases strong. Kasi alam nyo, alam nyo kung bakit, ah, alam nyo, base sa statistics. Hindi ko alam, yung reference ko is nasa internet. Uh, about, nakalimutan ko na yung, basta, itype nyo lang yung statistics na about yung prosecution of drug cases in here in the Philippines. Alam nyo ba na 7% lang ang pumapasa sa prosecutor na mga drug cases natin. And PNP. PNP yung may data nun ata. Wherein, lahat ng drug cases is parang sa una pa lang, sa so pagpapasa pa lang ng paper sa korte, is rene-reject na. Kasi siguro, violate ng police yung protocol. For example, yung Miranda rights. Hindi niya binigyan ng, hindi niya respect yung human rights ng kahit obvious na obvious na drug pusher yon hindi niya respect yung human rights niya or yung rights yung suspect uh, the rights of the suspect under the 1987 constitution so those are possible na uh, reasons kung bakit uh, yung mga legal cases natin sa drugs is parang nawawala so ganun alam niyo ba ganun so sa let's go to the parang gravity of evidence so in criminal cases, sinasabi dito is proof beyond reasonable reasonable doubt. Ito yung parang goal mo. Kung talagang, ito yung magtetest kung strong legal case ba talaga yung kinase build up mo. Wherein, yung evidence na ginadar mo ba is uh, is parang i-convince ba na, kinoconvince niya ba yung judge para beyond it's parang Para talagang makonvince yung judge na there is no hint of doubt or hint of double-minded thinking sa kaso mo. So, ito yung goal ng uh, case build at mo. Sana. Proof beyond reasonable doubt para uh, mabigyan ng guilty verdict ang isang uh, suspect. So, ganun. Yung sa probable cause naman, uh, if you want sa case build up mo is if you want God if you want to gather evidences, ganun. kung gusto mo nang isearch yung kanilang compound ng isang drug pusher, kasjay, or uh, i-arrest to yung suspect para hindi siya makawala, ito yung kailangan mo. Probable cause in getting the warrants, warrant of arrest, or the search warrant. So, probable cause is parang a reasonable belief. And it will depend upon the inspection of the judge. Siya yung magdedetermine kung Okay ba na magbigay siya ng warrant or hindi? At kailangan din yan sa case build up mo. Kung ipapasa mo siya sa uh, prosecutor, titignan niya kung may probable cause ba para pwedeng ipasa sa korte. Pwede niyang i-file sa korte. Kasi mas maganda actually na idaan mo muna sa prosecutor para makita ko para hindi agad-agad, para makita para Kung, kung saan ka nakulang at kung saan mo dapat ipagandahin yung case build up mo para matanggap ng korte. Kasi uh, prosecutors are lawyers. Alam nila yung ins and outs of the law. So, how do you how do you get how do you gather evidences? So, there are many many tools that you will use. Actually, you can use the tools in criminal investigation. Information, interrogation, or interview, or instrumentality yung, uh, yung mga evidences ng uh, crime scene. Sa information, pwede kang kumuha ng, for example, if you want to know the details of the suspects, pwede kang kumuha sa PSA, pwede kang, kung gusto mong makuha yung school records niya, punta ka sa school. Uh, basta, if you want to get the information about the Suspect, information is your best friend. Kasi yun din lang yung gagamitin mo as evidence sa korte. Or yun yung gagamitin mo para matrace mo siya. Matrace mo yung suspect. Kung, or kung hindi mo alam yung suspect, yun din yung gagamitin mo information to know that suspect. Or yung location ng suspect. So for example, hindi mo kila, kilala mo yung suspect pero nakawala. So, in your case build up or in locating the suspect is that may parang 
nakita kang Facebook niya tapos nagpost siya. Nagpost siya sa isang inuman. Ayun na, parang alam ko to ah, nasa somewhere in Nueva Vizcaya to ah. So by that, you can locate where is the suspects whereabouts. So, information. So, maraming sources, regular sources, mga government, meron din yung cultivated sources. So, for example, if you want to prove na isang uh, isang sa NPA, sa terrorism. So, if you want to prove that Sara Eliago is uh, a cohort of or an asset of the NPA, uh, kung wala kang makita sa government records or sa regular sources, meron yung cultivated sources. Meron, if I am the parang in charge of that, I'm the head of the CIDG, I will put infiltrating agent or penetrating agent sa organization ng NPA. Wherein, ito yung pali, ginawa na ng AFP para i-prove na terrorism or i-prove na may mga legal front pala ang NPA. Ito actually yung nag uh, ginamit para makita na Yung Gabriela, yung anak bayan, anak pawis is legal front ng NBA. So, ganun. So, yun. How about interrogation and interview? True, uh, knowing kung ano yung information ng uh, information na nasa is isa ibang tao, yung, for example, mas lalo na yung nakakita ng crime, you must know how to interview or interrogate. So, I will discuss it in the last video, yung interrogation and interview. So, by that, meron kasing tes testimonial evidence sa korte. You can use that para may prove yung kaso mo. Or yung, you can use that in your case build-up. And instrumentality. Uh, crime scene processing. So, for example, so isang crime scene, uh, for example, the drug trafficking, a special crime. Special crime kasi maraming involved. So, nalaman mo na nag-meeting yung mga drug lords sa isang lugar. So, sa, by the use of parang forensic science and criminalist or criminalistics, uh, kinuha mo lahat yung traces ng mga evident, uh, forensic evidences sa isang sa, sa place na yun. na mo na meron si mayor, meron si senator, nakita mo lahat yung DNA nila. And you can use that in your case build up to prove that they are drug lords, etc. Et so, hindi siya madali. Kaso, you can use it to gather evidences, yung mga tools na to. And other things are yung tailing, shadowing, to para makita mo kung ano yung routine ng isang, yung suspect mo. So, you can use this to build up your case. So, yun naman actually yung parang main goal ng investigator, which is to build that case, gather evidences through the tools in investigation, and then give it to the prosecutor, for filing. And dapat, yung evidences mo, ah, ay alam mo na kaya niyang isurpass or yung limit niya is proof beyond reasonable doubt. So, ganun. Ah, ba't hindi na maklik? So, yun. One of the goals of criminal invest. And, in investigation, kasama na dun yung case build up. Investigation is an art wherein na nasa sayo. Depende sa tao. Depende sa the, the, success, the success of a case or the success of the case in court is actually dependent on the skills of the investigator. So basically, nasa investigator din kung makakasuhan yung isang, for example, drug lord sa lugar nyo or hindi. Uh, and I am happy that, I am happy that there is a great investigator through our Solicitor General uh, Kalida kasi ang galing niya magagaling siya siguro may mga researchers siya kasi na magaling din kaya na-approve niya yung case niya at most likely is yung kine-case build up niya is nagsasucceed in in its goal wherein napalabas niya si Sereno and etc and etc so that is case build up or if you want to know more about case build up just search the Internet. Information is free, you know. Thank you.